Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Goron Island. Boy, this music sounds familiar and delightfully so. <laughs> you will put your foot on Goron Island, outsider. Make yourself known to all. We Gorons are proud and we do not play with strangers. So yeah, we've got to introduce ourselves to every Goron on the island and there are 14. So let's just take a peek see around here. How unusual. You really see off-islanders here, outsider. You have put your fort into a Goron home, which we carve out of solid rock. We find them cozy since they stay cool in summer and warm in winter. And along the way you should be paying attention to all sorts of things like how many Gorons there are, how many kids there are, how many are outside. Uh, where critters are at, it's, it's, uh, I'll explain why later, but just pay attention to as much things as you possibly can. Hey there, welcome to the only store on Goron Island! And look at that, we can get ourselves a quiver now! Woo! Oh yeah! And that most certainly does come in handy. Let's see, let's buy some bomb chews! Oh, okay, fine, fine. Then we're out of here, I guess. I mean, we got our potions all stocked up and stuff like that, so yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess we can. Wait, wait, is anything? No, there's. Okay, just wanted to check. Just wanted to check. Hey, how's it going? Have you ever heard of something called a store? We finally have one here! <laughs> if you lose your shield, you can pick up a new one. <clears throat> there, outsider. Now, how would we lose our shield? That seems ridiculous. Shields are pretty large, kind of hard to miss and stuff like that, so yeah, I don't know how one would lose their shield. Hmm. 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 Anyway, this is a dead end. I just wanted to show you the little cubby hole there, I guess you could say. Well, it's not a cubby hole, it's a edge of the world type island, I guess you could say. Three rocks in this house. Hmm. Your face is unknown to me, but I feel fine sharing words with you, and I will share something about our chief. He loves to play question games. Further, he asks questions that dwell upon the many details of our island life. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Could it be, like, maybe a game show? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. And now, um... There's this Goron here. This this Goron is pretty funny. Listen to what he has to say. Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. <laughs> Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she were only mine. Doesn't that remind you of someone's dialogue at Mercade Island? What? So you you've heard some that's somewhere else? Doubtful outsider. <laughs> uh Okay, so he doesn't have anything else to say, but I, I find that pretty funny. Hey, what's up? Your face is due to me, outsider. Have you come from the ship? My father is staring at it. That bothers me. If only someone would tell him. If only. If only, and sorry, I had to pull out my keyboard there. <laughs> I had, forgot the... Because I need to get the microphone out for something coming up very shortly here. Uh, over here is... Uh, yeah, see this little kid here? I mean, he's, he'll be like, uh, eh, give a shout if you need anything. So, uh, walk up to there and give a shout on your microphone. Hey, listen! Look out! Watch out! Something! <laughs> you wanna come over here, outsider? I will put the bridge out for you. And thus he pushes the bridge for an outsider for seemingly no reason. I'm gonna go up there just a sec. Hold on. <laughs> now you can cross anytime you want. No toll, of course. Thank you, I hate being told. Get it, get it, I'm forgetting it. Anyway, um, I am going to... An outsider, have you ever heard of a wood heart? I love them so much. We Gorons eat the small wood hearts in order to grow into big Gorons. Whoop. Is there a wood heart? No, there's not a wood heart. <laughs> Alright, so over here are some yellow choo-choos we gotta kill off here. But first we gotta get this out to make our way up here. He's gonna be like... Oh no! I don't know who you are, outsider, but I'm glad to see you. There are some strange creatures on that cliff. Please make them go away. And this I shall. I'm gonna use my bow here, which is probably the easiest way to do it. We can even get unlimited arrows via that plant that grows back, even without having to respawn it by moving outside. And there we go. Thank you, outsider. I'm relieved that those strange creatures are gone. You are a good stranger, outsider. So please accept this token of my thanks. Woo! 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's on our side of the sea too. So happy days. Uh, got anything else to say? Uh, guess not. <laughs> All right, so the yellow chews are gone. And we can go flop on over to this corner of the island now. And hopefully, hopefully you're still taking in the information. <laughs> you're an off-islander, we are not sure we're as easily with strangers here. And I so surely cannot tell you that our elder's house is up there. Uh, um, I think you just did. <laughs> Let's see here. Mm, do you know the big Goron secret outsider? What we call our islands Goron Amber is actually... That's second thought, it's too soon for you to know, outsider. I think he's hinting at something. I think he's hinting at something. Anyway, <laughs> let's take some more pixies around here and uh, I'm gonna go talk to the Goron over here last because I want to show you a differing bit of dialogue and clearly there's some graphical errors going on here at the emulation, but that is okay. Sunny rupees at the digging spots. That is also okay. Hey, how's it going there? You have entered the home of the Elder Goron. The leader of our proud tribe. I'm a son, Gongora. <laughs> we do not think kindly to off islands or stranger. I am Bigoron, elder of this island. Oh, so it is pure metal you seek, outsider. That is a potent Goron symbol. I will speak of it no further to an outsider. You must first become a member of our tribe if you wish to learn more. So make yourself known to each and every Goron, then we will speak again. So this is why I'm talking to every Goron, by the way, because you have to actually talk to every Goron before we are ready to go here. So yeah, keep chatting. <laughs> keep chatting. And uh, there's a chest somewhere around here that you can see. Well, not not on this part, part of the island, but there's somewhere else that we can see one. Um, hey, little stranger, you are no Goron. Only members of the Goron tribe can go through here. Hey, I think that does it. We've spoken to everyone on the island. Let's go see the Elder. Yep, that's why I decided to speak to him last, because, yeah, he's the last one that I would need to speak to if I spoke to everyone in order. Let me through! Let me through! Oh, fine, whatever. <laughs> Just doesn't realize I have a sword, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a chest somewhere on this side of the island. Well, remember, anyway, that there's the yellow shoes here, and then there's a chest somewhere else here. It's a uh, it's a part of the this upcoming quiz game here. So you have met everyone in the tribe. I could sense your burning desire to rank among the Gorons, outsider. But does your desire to become a Goron burn to your very core? Let me probe into the matter with the game of questions. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess, but I feel you're only trying to make money off the outsiders. <laughs> Just what I like to hear. First, let me explain the rules. I will ask you six, six questions and give you the prize for each. Correct answer. But get just one wrong and I will take everything back. I will also grant you one Goro hint that eliminates one of the wrong answers. You will understand best if you simply try it. First question. The Goron at the spots. What is he staring at? The answer is a ship. And by the way, I'm going to put the answers to all the potential questions you'll get on the sidebar. <laughs> there's, a, there's not that many questions that you can come across here, but yeah. Well done. Next question. How many homes are there on this island? Hmm? Well, there's most likely six homes on this island, and that is correct! Woo! As I said, pay attention to everything you come across. Yes. Including the amount of rupees that you get along the way. <laughs> 14 Gorons on the island. I should say the amount of rupees you get along the way on this quiz type thing here. You're amazing. You'll answer half the questions with ease. But how will you fare with the remaining three? Let's find out, outsider. What color were the odd creatures on the cliff? That were be yellow. And we get another red rupee. You're so smart, stranger. Your desire to be one of us burns very bright. By the way, sometimes question four is kind of funny, because remember he asks... I mean, he's, he's supposedly doing these questions to test us on the stuff of the island, you know, the, to see if we want to be a Goron and whatnot. But the thing about question four is that sometimes question four, he asks what number of question we're on. That doesn't have anything to do with the island. You just have to answer number four. <laughs> But two questions remain, and I wonder if you will survive our initiation. So, next question. 
How many Gorons are outside right now? I believe there are seven. Yeah, are there? Correct! Woo! That's a lot of rupees! Oh, I can barely tell you from a Goron, stranger. So close. So close. Answer this final question right, and you will officially become a member of us Gorons and get loads of cash! Woo! Well, he didn't say loads of cash. What is on this spot? That is, I guess, where the chest was, if I recall correctly, I hope. Well, I'll try the Goron hint here. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Is it a chest? Is it a chest? I'm gonna say it's a chest. I'm pretty sure that's where the chest was. Yes, it is. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, is it victory? It's victory! <laughs> yeah, the dance of the pointer. Congratulations. You are now an official brother of our proud Goron tribe. And so it shall now and forever be that we call you Goro Link. <laughs> I also reward your deep knowledge with this. What was a jam? Oh yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> and now, because you are an official member, I need to collect the official dues. Just a one-time payment, of course. 146 rupees. Now, if you're wondering, is that all the rupees you won in the game? I'm afraid it is, so... You didn't win... Jack Squats! <laughs> But I'm gonna say no. No, you are now proud, proud brother and contributor, Goro Link. No, I refuse. I won that fair and square. No, stop that. You will not. No, not a chance. Your wrath means nothing to me. Nothing. Oh. Well, looks like he shook him out of me. <laughs> Enjoy your proud Goron life on our island. So, Chief, how about that pure metal? Oh, yes, I'm growing forgetful of my old age. The pure metal is now in our temple. I put it there for safekeeping. You are not one of us, so you are free to take it, Goro Link. And little Gangoron there will show you to the temple. Hey, how's it going? We will never recognize your true brother. You, you as a true brother are a Goron tribe stranger. Do you really want our pure metal? Let's try to keep up with me. And he's gone. <laughs> and now a new game has started. Oh ho! Already playing hide and seek with Gangaron. Go find my son quickly, brother. All right, so we go out in search for Gangaron. Where did that go? And can't get so fast. We need to get to. We need to find one. Okay, whatever. Let's see here. I wonder if I could adjust the graphical settings to, to fix that, but I don't know. I'm not real, not too concerned about that at this point. But uh, we still can't get through here, can we? Hey, Gorlink. Looks like you are now an official Goron. What? Gorlink? No, I can't say I've seen him, brother. Well, yeah, we gotta look for information here on how to find that kid. He's somewhere around these parts. So let's just take a peek see here and get some more dialogue going around here. Yes, I am. In time, we learn the secrets of the Gorons. Well, we already learned some of the secrets. <laughs> mm, I welcome you as a member of our tribe with open arms, Goro Link. No hugs, though, please. Your hugs are kind of vicious. I've seen that in Ocarina of Time. Oh, forget it. I seen, I saw him run to the rest side of the island, brother. All right, we got some information. Heck yeah. Um, yeah, that was the uh, stairs up to the elders. How's it going? Yes, I am. We're, oh, oh, he's over there, I see. Okay. Maybe I should mark that on my map, but I don't really feel like it because I'm going to have to erase that later because of my OCD, so I'm just going to try and remember that spot. <laughs> I hear that you're now Gor Goron too, little girl Link. What I want to be is a big Goron. Hopefully soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe you're just going to make an evolution stone or something like that. Ah, forget it. <laughs> Alright. Going around this way. Hey, what's up? You know, one of us Gorons now, Girl Link. What? Gone Goron. I think I saw him run West Butter. <clears throat> okay. Are you still looking at the ship? Yes, I am. Hmm. Well, oh. <laughs> yes, you are, I guess. <laughs> He'll never take his eyes off that ship. Ever. Yes, I am. <laughs> his dad will never. Stop looking at the ship as long as we're here. So he doesn't seem too happy about that. Uh, okay, well, we will see the kid right around here. Yep, there he is. Catch me if you can, never go on. And he looks pretty slow, actually. <laughs> I just want to see what the other Gorons have to say about uh, me being a newbie here. Uh, yeah, I guess, maybe, might be. <laughs> 
Anyway, moving on. Uh, this, yeah, there wasn't any Gorons here, it was just a dead end. Uh, hey, so... <laughs> what, you lost Gong Goron? I think I saw him at the store. Really? Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go over to that store then. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Let's see, maybe he's buying something over here. Yeah, no, didn't see him here. Welcome to the only store on Goron Island. Is there something you want to tap? I want to hear about Don Goron, so can I tap you? I mean, Don Goron, excuse me. No, no, guess not. <laughs> so, you didn't see him at the store at all. I was lied to. Lied to, I say. Uh, anyway, let's check out this last one here. And see what he has to say about my newbie apprenticeship. Uh-huh. You should carve yourself a home. They are perfect for Goron life. And this is the one that said they're uh, warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Oh yeah, there's one more here. Uh-huh. Hadis, catch him quick so you can play with me next. <laughs> okay, so he's actually over here now, over by that gate that I talked to the last Goron. I just wanted to see what the others had to say, just for kicks. And uh, get the bombs out along the way too, because that'll be kind of handy. And also, if you have the bomb bag upgrade, you'll also find that to be pretty useful for what's coming up here. Because there's a bunch of stuff to bomb, and, well, you're going to run out of bombs pretty quickly, so... Enjoy your upgraded bomb bag. Hopefully, if you, you know, you want it the game. Whoops, I went too far right there. Alright. <laughs> We're almost there, don't worry. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it eventually. There he is. Over here, not Goron. Come this way. And thus, we've been invited officially down this path. Now that you are a Goron brother, you can go right in, Goro Link. If you see... If you seek the little Gongron, he has gone to the temple. Alrighty, so he's all the way over there. We gotta get ourselves over to that temple. And we gotta bomb our way in there. <laughs> this is what the bombs are for. Uh, well, at least for the most part. I mean, there's bomb, bomb flowers hanging around here, but it's not really practical to use them in a lot of cases, because you gotta wait for them to grow back, and yeah, it's just a... Just a whole load of ire going around here. <laughs> oh no, Blue Chew! And now we're gonna notice something here. Look at that, it's not, it's not relinquishing its electrifiedness. So yeah, we actually gotta stun it or kill it with a bow or something like that to be able to do anything regarding the sorts. And here is what makes the bombs less practical. Behold the rock Choo Choo! There you are! <laughs> there we go. And yeah, there's all sorts of rock choo-choos around here. That opens up that for that chest up ahead, but that we got to get on the other side. So don't worry about that for now. Um, down here is something that you can't get right now, but remember that for later. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do here is mark this on the map, and then I know it leads to something that happens at that very spot in the corner there. So I'm just going to... Just gonna mark that for the future, even though that you're not supposed to know about that until later. But I'm just gonna mark that for myself so I don't forget a little bit, uh, a little, little later on. Just while I have it in mind and whatnot. So, oh no 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 no! Get over there! Get over there! Okay. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can actually run. See, this is what I mean about it not being very practical, because you gotta, yeah, you gotta run through this, and then it does. It's just much more fun to just, yeah, use our own bombs for this. <laughs> A uh, little explodey thing of there. And uh, we're making our way through it. Oh, slow but sure. And sure enough, another one there. I just never know who it's going to be, though, before you approach the rocks. And you know what? I'm just going to... I don't really feel like switching items. Um, this, I believe, is bombable, too, if I'm not mistaken. Because it's, it's hinted at by this eye here. Um, because it's similar to this other eye here, which did have a bombable wall in front of it, so I guess that's the hint that you can get through there, but otherwise this is going to be a dead end over here, but I think there's actually something, yeah. It's a big green rupee! Oh yeah! We're just raking in the dough now. Those, uh... Ones, fives, and tens, and twenties, just, oh, okay, just one, fives, and twenties, just don't seem as lucrative as they once, d uh, were, don't they? Anyway, um, now that I unlocked the chest from the other side, I can get it! It's a power gem, and by the way, yes, we can power up our spirit of power, uh, at the spirit island, way, way, way at the southwest of the southwestern sea, but it's kind of out of my way at the moment, and I'm not too concerned about, uh oh I'm not too concerned about powering up our fairy friends, so yeah. I'm gonna throw a bomb at you, just because, it's fun. 
it's safer too. Um, it's probably easier just to use arrows because yeah, you aren't going to be sucked in while it's being, you know, while you're shooting at it because you could shoot at it from a good enough distance. But I just had the bombs out and I'm getting lazy, so yeah. <laughs> It's the temple! Woohoo! So yeah, we gotta see inside where that Goron kid went to. And we just unlock that. And now, um, this, this you might find familiar. This was a dead end. Yep, this is the little island that I said was a dead end, that seemed like a dead end, that is now not actually a dead end. Yeah, it's a, it's a quick shortcut to the temple. Heck yeah, baby! So we can get back and forth as many times as we like, and we can recover health as many times as we like, which is a bonus, I guess you could say. And thus, since we have reached the temple... Oh, jeez! Nice, uh, nice audio glitch there. <laughs> Dang you, emulator. Dang you, emulator. Hey, no sign of Gongor on. Let's push father and find that kid, Link. But as I was about to say, since we got here to the temple, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I go find that little scamp. <laughs>